This is where all the magic happens. We are underneath the boat in the engine room, joined by Captain Mike. Mike, tell us, uh, where are we right now? Well, you're under the main dining, uh, after dining cabin of the Prairie Lily. Uh, the steel deck here above that is the dining cabin. We're in the engine room space, mm -hmm. and I thought it might be interesting for you to see this. Um, yes. It's a very sh shallow space. There's not mm -hmm. very much room in here, but that's because it's a flat-bottomed riverboat. Okay. It's designed to have very little draft. It, goes, it doesn't need a lot of water to float, okay. and that's because it's very short. So the ship has two main propulsion engines and a 25,000 watt diesel generator. Okay. The diesel generator is right there in front of you. That's a, it's actually a Northern Lights brand diesel generator, which is one of the better, better or best uh, uh, diesel generators that uh, you can get for a marine application. Okay. And of course our engines, we've just put two brand new engines in this ship this spring. Mm -hmm. So all our propulsion equipment exceeds environmental standards for emissions. Well, we are going to hop upstairs into the area where Mike drives the boat. Is mm -hmm. there a name for that? It's the wheelhouse or the pilot house. The wheelhouse or the pilot yeah, house. Yeah, in the, in the Navy or in other ships, they would call it the bridge. Perfect. But this is a riverboat, and in classic riverboat fashion, it's the pilot house. And before we go up, yes. I'm going to start that generator up for my engineer. Oh, goodness. Here we go. So. <laughs> the generator control panel here, and it tells you uh, the parameters of the engine, the oil pressure, the temperatures, uh, voltage, and things like that. And then the main control panels for the propulsion diesels are here. Okay. And each panel will tell you the engine RPM, the engine speed. Okay. So the engines are controlled here for speed and direction of propeller. Okay. So if these handles are in the center there, that stop, the propellers won't turn. Okay. If you go forward, then the propellers will turn to push the ship forward. Okay. Or if you go backwards, mm -hmm. they'll turn to pull the ship backwards, right? Just like Easy forward enough. and reverse yeah. in your car. Right? Yep, simple enough. And then the enough. further you push them, once they come into gear, yes. like if your car went into drive, yes. the further you push them, the faster the engines go. Ooh. So that's how you control speed. Now the beauty of it, this is a twin screw ship, but of course two engines, two propellers. Okay. The nice part about a twin screw ship is that you have a lot more maneuverability in tight spaces. Uh, uh, you can push or pull on each side of the mm -hmm. ship to maneuver around. Mm -hmm. So this wheel turns the rudders, which are two steel plates that are behind the propellers. Yes. And they go like this. Right. At the same time. Okay. And as they turn, they push the stern of the ship over one way or the other. Wow. And that's how you uh, steer the thing. So knowledgeable. What a guy, so knowledgeable. Well, thanks, Mike, for taking yeah, us on no a problem. tour, inviting us on the Prairie Lily. Looking mm -hmm. forward to this season.